This is Malcolm here for WERS 88.9 and anyhiphop.com. I'm here with the legend, Pete Rock, man. Peace, how you peace, doing? Peace, peace, How you, my G? I'm good, man. I'm chilling. It's I'm nice chillin'. to meet you, my dude. Nice to meet you. So how did you and Premier come up with this idea and this concept for the, the DJ battles? I guess just being old buddies from, from way back for so long. Yeah. One day we just saw each other. I think we was on the road or somewhere overseas and discussed it just, just to sit down. Yeah. And we figured, you know, being the way the state hip hop was in that it would be nice to have something like a Pete Rock and Premier get together on yeah. one thing. So yeah. we did a couple of shows that were successful mm -hmm. and uh, even the show tonight was, was heartfelt. Really dope. And then, um, you know, decided that we want to do something in the studio. Yeah. And do a, a, an album that will be released uh, 2014. I'm, I'm excited. That's very exciting, yeah. man. Now, you also got the the joint 80 Blocks from Tiffany yeah. Part 2. Yes, yes. I'm July so 30th. Excited. Yep, July 30th. So <laughs> it's a free mixtape. It'll be downloaded on datpiff.com. Yeah. And um, there's so many. Um, I've This is my first time ever putting something free out. So right. I feel like it, it sounded so good. Like, you know, the vibe was what was in us. And we just wanted to just do whatever we felt. Mm-hmm. And that's one of those one of those mixtapes where you just if you want your dose of, of good hip hop uh, music, whether it be boom bap or yeah. commercial, yeah. you know you can grab eighty blocks and it has it all. <laughs> so you got Mac Miller and you know young artists like Mac Miller yeah. have soul on it. Yeah. How, do you feel it's important to you know embrace the young artists? Of course, and stuff man. like that. I mean, you know, my thing is, um, I respect those who respect me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying and. And those guys showed me nothing but love, you know, since the first day I've ever spoke or met them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm um, basically uh, just kind of trying to, you know, uh, bridge a bridge a gap with yeah. the young generation, yeah. you know, uh, that doesn't know Pete Rock's music to, right. you know, and reintroduce them to what I do. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So you know, you know, you you have a history with Boston. You did a, a collab project with uh, Ed OG. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, how have the people in Boston and the city embraced your music and you know treated you? Oh man, Boston, <laughs> the city, Boston itself, man. You know, my heart goes out to, to the to the whole marathon incident, yeah, and everything absolutely. like that. Yeah. And um, now, I, for some reason, I feel like Boston and New York is connected in a way. Yeah, you, you know said that saying? during the show. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I feel like. Uh, the, the fans here are true, and what they like is true, heartfelt music. Yeah. And, you know, me, I would like to go spread that everywhere in the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, to the city of Boston, I, I say thank you for their support. <laughs> and, um, you know, hip-hop is here to live. Still, still here, baby. Definitely. And I wanted to ask you about another thing. You was in Harvard. Yeah. You primo and ninth one that came yeah. to Harvard and you did yeah. a talk. Yeah. Uh, what was that experience like? And did you oh, ever man. think that, you know what I'm saying, when you started producing that you would end up lecturing at Harvard? Oh, man, nah, not at all. <laughs> you know, thanks to Ninth Wonder, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to him. Um, basically brought me down here and um, I got to see the campus. It was beautiful. Uh, meet some good people, yeah. good professors and everything like that. And um you know, um, just the the history inside the school itself, some of the um, posters and paintings they had up, yeah. and some just old movie history, you know, yeah. black history. Yeah. Um, so I was very interested in seeing that. And, um, you know, we'd love to go back someday. They have a hip-hop museum there now that people can learn about certain, uh, you know, hip-hop from the early yeah. S late 70s, early 80s, all the way through the 90s, it's, so it's, forth. It's crazy. It's yeah. amazing, man. We got hip-hop museums, like, yeah. from something so small, and it just got crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So my last question for you is, yeah. um, do you know? Do you have any producers right now that you think can really carry the torch of the legends like you and Primo? Oh, uh, definitely. I mean, you know, if they, you do your homework on us, and if it's us, you follow, you know. So be it. That's, that's one way to... Um, you know, become someone pro yeah. professional in the music game. You know, you have guys like uh, Kanye West and mm -hmm. my man Knotts right now, who's, yeah, Knotts who's who drops drops heat. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, uh, Ninth Wonder. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, DJ Premier, myself. Um, so many other producers out there. That's dope. Um, yeah. uh, Mad Lib, DJ Khalil. Mm -hmm. um, 
so many people to name, you know. And um, I'm a fan of a lot of producers. So. Awesome. But, you know, just here to drive that wheel one more time, man, and give people that real music that they miss. Yeah, man. It was definitely an experience, man. We yeah, really man. appreciate you. We're uh, 80 Blocks and Tiffany's, July 30th. The 30th. It's going to be real. <laughs> it's crazy. Camp Low and this guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you remember who Camp Low was, they had the Lucini song in the 90s. Yeah. And they, uh, the way they dressed, they was ahead of their time. So <laughs> you got people dressing like them right now, even all the, the new young guys, you know, K- Kanye and everybody's uh, bringing the, the fashionable look back to hip hop did you see that thing that Kanye just did he did a he put a it's a, called a hip hop t-shirt yeah and so yeah, what yeah. what do you think about that I mean you know <laughs> I think it's I think it's a it's great that people you know have their own clothing line and put their right. yeah. put, do that uh, but uh I don't know if I would pay $120 for Crazy. a t-shirt sold out yeah Crazy. I know I know but you know mm. it is what it is hip hop <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kanye West. Shout out to Kanye West. <laughs> shout out to Jay Z too. Definitely. Magna Carta Holy Grail. Yeah, man. man I you love that it? album. Yeah, yeah. They they he got they, beats. He yeah. got beats on this <laughs> He got beats. Definitely got some beats yeah, on that, yeah. man. Absolutely. P yeah. Rock, I want to thank you for taking the time talking to us. Oh yeah. Man. Also too, I'm doing a re record of Mech and the Soul Brother with CL Smooth with a live band, so that's gonna be crazy. You can't just drop that's an exclusive, yeah. man. You can't just drop that yeah, on the like drop that. it. Gotta let people know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, got a lot of uh, artists that I'm thinking about um, doing projects with, and I cannot wait. You know, that's awesome. That's yeah. exciting. Man. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. This is Malcolm right here. Pete, Pete Rock, Rock, the legend, Soul brother number one, Chocolate Boy Wonder. Yep. How did you get that name? Somebody gave it to Somebody me. Somebody gave that to you? Yeah. And it just stuck. Yeah. But Somebody in the hood gave it to me. <laughs> Those <laughs> are always the best hood. nicknames, the yeah. hood ones. Yeah. Yeah, I can dig it. All right. Malcolm, Chocolate Boy Wonder. Peace. Any Hip Hop, WERS 88.9. All right. Yo, check this out. It's the Soul Brother number one, Pete Rock. You're checking out Northeast Hip Hop. That's N-E Hip Hop, baby. All right? 2013. Holla at your boy. Now that's some real shit. <laughs>